talking to Dr. Neil Whitaker, who is one of the directors at the Urgent Care facility in Nelson, which is a GP Urgent Care. So, Neil, we're talking about collaboration and all sorts of other bits and pieces that you've been involved in, so just tell us what you've been up to. Yeah. Uh, well, it, um, it's a real privilege to come here to, to, to present to the College, um, yeah. particularly regarding collaboration. And, yeah. Um, it's the of uh, trying to work together and how difficult it is, e you know, moving from the rhetoric of just saying actually we're collaborating to the reality of mm. of doing it. Yeah. Oh, it's really difficult. Um, so, uh, and it's been a privilege to present. And I suppose when you present, you hope that actually it's of use to the audience, but yeah. it's absolutely of use to 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 us when we're presenting both mm. as the service because it's enabled us to reflect. Yep. to look at what we're doing yep. and to to network and to have feedback from uh, from uh, the audience. Yeah, and so some of the things that you've, um, the keys that you've found with collaborating, what sort of things would you say to people about how to collaborate in a better way? Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, it's about it's about understanding what collaboration means, I think, yep. and I've only literally in preparation for for uh, for this conference, actually, really understood what what does collaboration mean. Mm. Uh, previously, I thought we were collaborating, but we probably weren't collaborating. We might have been coordinating or cooperating, but um, to collaborate, sort of learnt from from uh, as I say, from preparation. Yeah, it's really about doing something new and doing uh -huh. something. Uh, not just working on the current, but it's actually change and improvement yeah. Yeah. and doing something new and having a, a shared vision. Mm. Yeah. Um, and for me, it was interesting to researching it, sort of finding out the resources, particularly from the Collaborate Foundation, yeah. um, which in Google, but the Collaborate Foundation has got a document sort of really about moving from the rhetoric of collaborating to mm. the reality to actually doing it. Yeah. And you said there were some hard things. So what things were the hard things, the hurdles that you had to jump, or changes you had to make? Yeah. Um, it, it takes, well, uh, the, it's about, agree. I suppose the, the difficulty of it is, is, is having a shared vision. Yeah, okay. And having the time uh, and the method to actually get people together to have a shared vision. Mm, yeah. Because we're all busy. Yeah. Uh, and actually, yeah, mm. that, that's uh, and, uh, and and to breaking down the barriers. Yeah. So, and I imagine in an urgent care setting, when you've got a you've got the PHO involved and the DHB and GPs, is that right? The DHB are, are yeah, yes, we're working alongside the DHB, yeah, yeah. and has been absolutely a, a key partner. Yeah, and so with all those different people, would have different um, probably purposes and reasons and agendas behind mm. how the agent care facility should work. So mm. Mm. what did you do that helped get you all onto the same page with a shared vision? Uh, I, th I suppose whenever we sort of there's conflict, moving to the highest level, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, i.e. what are we trying to achieve? What's, what's the ultimate goal? Yeah. Um, which isn't any of our own individual entity goals, it's actually the bigger picture goal mm. and agreeing no. the bigger picture goal. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's probably the. So, with the, um, the process that you've gone through, I assume that you have a functioning and working urgent care facility in Nelson now. It's working. How <laughs> functional it is will depend on yeah who you talk yeah. to. But, yeah. And it, it's always challenges and, yeah. it, and uh, ongoing challenges, and there will continue to be challenges. Yeah. Because it's a uh, it's a tough environment. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so, um, what would you be most proud of in your collaborative process that you've gone through to get this at least going? I think it, it's the team, really. Uh, mm. I mean, from the point of view, but uh, and I, today we, uh, we couldn't have done uh, a session today without the team getting mm. first of all. We've had um, our nurse practitioner presenting, yep. uh, and our senior nurse presenting, yep. and seeing them. Uh, Enthused and, and and supporting, and I certainly couldn't have done it without them. So that's yeah. that's yeah, the people really. It really yeah. comes down to when you yeah. just do it. Down. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, with that team, what's the plan from now forwards? What what are you planning to do next? 
Yeah, well, having following this, following uh, really the session and what we've also particularly learned about collaboration, actually reviewing what we mean by collaboration and coming at this, uh, coming at the Collaborate Foundation, they, they came up with a, a basically six. Look, look, you can actually assess: Are you ready to collaborate? And yeah. they've got a tool with with six categories that you can look at to say. Mm -hmm. How ready are you to collaborate? And we're probably going down those as a team to say, look, you know, where are we at with each in the readiness stakes of each yeah. of these categories? Yeah, yeah. So that we can actually uh, it, it ideally move up on all of them. Yeah. Um, so that we, yeah, we continue to collaborate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And so I think the, um, and that sounds like another thing that's been helpful is having a process and some structure behind how you're going to do this together when you may have not had a shared vision to start with and now you're moving towards that and the steps have been very helpful? Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think um, things take time and, yeah. and I, they yeah, probably they take a lot more time than you, well, certainly for me, than you think. And they, they uh, so things take longer, but also they, it, it, harder work than, you know, you just need to keep going. It's yeah. The, yeah. yeah. I think I remember a quote from um, Churchill is that we have to be as equally as enthusiastic for things that are short and sweet as things that are long and hard. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, keeping the enthusiasm is hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, very um, good. But it sounds like you have a good team around you. Yep, we're yep. very lucky. Yeah, and um, progress is being made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. very good. Thank you for talking to us today. Th thank and you for having me. Thank pleasure. you. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks very much.